Big City China, where if you're a woman over 27 and single, you can literally be branded a leftover woman. The term was actually coined by state media in an effort to bully younger women into getting married. And you thought dating was tough in America. Zhou Yi Ru already feels the pressure. She's only 25. She's a successful entrepreneur in Shanghai, and in the past she's worked as a model. But now she's sought out a professional matchmaker for help finding a man. This is a date. Can you say awkward? Because of the general preference for sons over daughters, there are 20 million more men than women. That hasn't seemed to make it any easier to find the right man. Because a lot of men here don't have the money to support a family. And today, sophisticated Chinese women just won't settle for anyone. I'm looking for a partner who's at least 5'9", makes more money than I do, owns an apartment and is committed to his family. I have a lot of girlfriends that are leftover women. They're beautiful, successful in their careers, own their own apartments in Shanghai, but don't have love. Enter the matchmaker, who caters to Shanghai's elite. The social structure has changed in China. Most urban women work now, and very few stay at home. Because of this, they have a higher expectation and refuse to lower their standards. They won't go for a younger man who makes less money and doesn't own a house. You'll almost never hear, oh, as long as he's a nice person, he's okay. Do you like her? Uh, yes. Zhou Yi Ru is also on the market here at Shanghai's People's Park, where her parents listed her along with thousands of other singles at the weekly marriage market. Posters list their age, height, education and income. There were no takers for our 25-year-old entrepreneur, though a lot of business was getting done here. I'm here today to look for partners for my son and daughter. I have two kids. Nowadays, for women, it's hard to find a husband because they're more economically successful than ever. Back at the matchmaker's office, the date hasn't gone well. I think he's nice, but he's not for me. Zhou Yi Ru is still determined to find a husband before she becomes one of the leftover women. I hope to find a boyfriend that's tall and handsome, who has a stable job and likes animals. If you're interested, you can go through the matchmaking agency to find me.